But I could, like, uh... I agree with you 100%. Blunty can come smoke my Blunty anytime he wants to try. Fuck his ass. I don't even know who he is. So uh, I could care Keith, less. Keith, would you, um, like to... Oh. Expand the world upon your knowledge of Blunty? I have to, uh... I have to move over here. Yes. I'm in the, I'm in the uh, background, not the foreground. Wait, I will get us a beer. Shall we get another beer? Oh, of course, yeah. Shall I bring three? One for you, peaceful cat, as always. That's true. Don't worry, I'll drink it. I always drink two for one. <laughs> yep. You why, should... why else would God have given you two hands? Yeah, so you could, uh, so you could like, double fist. Right. But anyway, we're not going to get into that, either. No! <laughs> Who is this Blunty guy and like, what's the feud about? As you said, it's just YouTube, and, but this guy will actually try to sue you for things like defamation of character? Is that what I'm getting out of this? Because that's just ridiculous. Here we go, Keith. Let's drink our beer in paper bags. Oh, yeah, actually, um, yeah. this is a Chicago thing here. Uh, then we're going to show you how to drink beer, beer on the hill. We do not have the right size ones. Okay, but we can work this out. We can show you how to drink here in Chicago. We'll, we'll improvise. Here we go. This is how you drink beer in Chicago if you haven't had a bath in like two months. But at least. Okay, ready? Okay. Now, see, he's doing it wrong. You gotta go like this. Oh, you, gotta oh, be oh, you always get the downward. Mm hmm. Okay. To capture, yes, I understand. Here we are. And it's not authentic unless the bag gets wet because you're throwing it in your pocket all the now, time to escape the cops. This is how we drink beer in the streets in Chicago. Actually, if we're smart, we don't drink beer mm -hmm. on the streets. I am not, but <laughs> smart, that is. This is my favorite, favorite little post. Do you want this war? But anyway, as we were speaking about blunting, yeah, who is this guy? What's he want? I'm what's a it, fucking moron, do? dude. Well, Blunty's a total ass. Well, what's he do? I don't know. What's he do? Does I he gotta do? show him it's an old style can a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, old style is the only <laughs> way you want to. <laughs> Actually, that's even better. <laughs> I says, this is great. All right, I was I was in uh, Grant Park in Chicago, right by the art museum. You gotta get some fucking paper. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I had my beer like this. Hold on. This is funny, this is great. I'm like, okay, I'm pigeonholing the whole thing. I'm like, by the way, I'm really not drinking a beer. Um, in my bag. Mm -hmm. There's not a beer here. So the idea when you drink in Chicago is the idea that you cared enough to cover it up which, right. which well, allows you the allowance to do so. So you don't disturb the businessmen and the gangbangers. Or the um, kids going to the art museum to see oh, yeah. uh, Van Gogh or whatever. Right, but no one's going to let them lose in Grand Park anyways. Right. We live in the, the world of democracy here, right? Okay? <laughs> this is a good point. A good point to be made. We live in a country who reports itself as being the most democratic, most you know, mm -hmm. social, liberal place in the right. world. That's However, freedom and all that. you can't drink a beer in public without it covered with a paper bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and to me, that's like wearing a hood, like the KKK. Like, you know, I don't know. All right. And I've had this argument with cops. It's like, okay. Take the beer out of the bag. It takes the beer out of the bag. No, but I mean, okay, what's the difference? Okay, if I'm keeping my mouth shut, and I'm just walking somewhere, and I have a beer in my hand. Right, and also the What's label the comes out. between that and a Coke? Right. You know? Well, look. I might take the Coke can, and I might throw it like I'm someone's front lawn. See, that's why. Like, I might take the Coke can, not even open it and throw it in somebody's fucking see, front window. This is why I argue different with you about this issue, okay? Like, I can go like this. And if you, if you don't fold it, like, in certain dimensions... I think it's a soda, dude. No, a lot of times it's really obvious. No one drinks soda out of a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, hence post to post, right? Right. In but, Chicago, uh, they do that. Here, I just... Um, actually, Peaceful Cat, you should see me. I'm a maestro when it comes to drinking beer down the streets. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can slip it in my pocket, keep my thumb over it, 
Nothing goes well, nowhere. Well, we decided from now on and we're going to drink all our beer on YouTube in paper bags. Well, we can't tell them it's so still selling. But no, you know what? what? The peaceful when we run out of money, selling. we may not be able to buy all this quality fucking like beer. High quality paper drink. from Canada. Mm. Well, yeah, I was in factory in the mm. bag. Mm. <laughs> so we were just kind of trying to show you what it would be like drinking with us mm -hmm. in Chicago. We'd have a plethora of paper bags and about 30 old style cans. At some point, At some point. we're going to get a video camera. And we're going to really show you the absurdity of the situation. Oh, we're going to make you a video of Chicago proper. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and of course, Downers Grove proper, too. And this one right here. Actually, what can we do you with like Downers that? Grove? I think that's fucking hysterical, actually. Oh, my God, that's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like that perfume from the magazine. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, exactly. No, scratch the scratch sniff. Scratch, scratch, scratch the sniff. Sorry, not licking. Not, not, not licking tail, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This guy eats the fucking Sunday supplement in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I use the horoscopes what the horoscopes are. Horror scopes, okay? Yeah, <laughs> so anyway, I would hope that someday me, you, and Keith will be drinking a beer in a paper bag. Oh, telefono. Way over there. Oh. <laughs> Maybe drinking a beer in oh, a paper can, bag can, or yeah, yeah, yeah. um hitting the nightlife in Chicago. You haven't lived till you've seen Chicago nightlife. Hello, Tennessee. New York is probably the only rival to it. Hey, we got a call from Tennessee, dude. Oh, hey. What do you know? Hello. Hello, Tennessee. Hi. You're on the air. Hi, Tennessee. You're on the air. <laughs> You're our first caller. You're our first caller. Am I the correct caller? What did I learn? I don't know. Say hi to the peaceful cat. Hello, peaceful cat. He's from Israel. I know. I've seen him on your little pagey thing. Damn space time saver. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yes, you have. Mm, yes, you have. Mm -hmm. but, and we're uh, trying to convince him to come to Chicago. That answered the question anyway. Well... Retort to us why you have called us and come a martyr. Um, I was just on my cup of cake. Oh, Skittles? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> taste, God. taste the rainbow, huh? You taste the rainbow. Um, <laughs> rainbow cola. We were just trying to show the peaceful cat how to drink beer out of paper bags. Yeah. Because that's a, uh... That's a Chicago thing. You know? Yeah, it's a Chicago oh, thing. Yeah, you know, I, I no, yeah. shh, don't bust our bubble, okay? See how, right? Actually, I think that's and mostly like Eastern United States. It's East Coast all the way, sweetheart. Yeah, right. And yeah. Tennessee, the volunteer state, God bless them. Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyway. Could you imagine me like trying to walk around like her house? Oh, I can imagine you in a beater shirt, you know, the whole thing. Oh, wife beater? Stains yeah. all over it, got chili sauce on your face. Right, walking down the street with a beer and going, hey, you can't. You uh -huh. can't fucking drink beer around and, there. And a local magistrate comes by and goes, Keith, why you got that chili bean on your face? <laughs> oh, wait a did you, did you hit? Did you hit Miss Miss tonight because you got chili bean on your face? Oh, I, didn't, I didn't hit her. I, just, <laughs> I didn't have the rent. I, you know, I, I came home and... The uh, mine shut down, you know. You know, and, mm -hmm. you know this guy This guy mm -hmm. said, you know, you know, I don't, you know I'll, I'll bet you your paycheck is okay. so going to rise tomorrow. Hey, hey, Miss Miss. Hello? I'm here. Will you sing for us? No. Mm. Come on. Because I can't sing. Yes, you can. I love the way you laugh. <laughs> I don't laugh, I cackle. Oh, cackle. Shut up. You make my ooh <laughs> Well, you just said you cackle. You don't laugh. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, I'm an intelligent human being. I'm only responding to your, re your, your like, you know. Oh, she doesn't have to say, does she? No, okay, you don't, you don't have to, what's in your refrigerator? Will you tell our friend, the peaceful cat, what is in your refrigerator? They know stuff. What is it in my food? Well, describe to the peaceful cat what kind of food you have in your refrigerator from Tennessee. Pickled eggs and buttermilk. That's right, says so you <laughs> rock on. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Got some, some hog jowls, grits, and possum gravy, right? Pardon me, I've been being like brainwashed All by right. Beverly Hillbillies. Once again, Peaceful Cat, I'd really love a phone call from you. 
six three 